the King and Queen consort to being carrying out their first official duty today by dropping in on Dunfermline. Granted city status as part of the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, King Charles was there in person to mark Dunfermline's change of title. Yes, they also visited the Abbey where Scotland's ancient kings and queens were buried, as Aileen Clark reports. It's a rare event for a council meeting to attract crowds, but it's no ordinary council meeting when the new king and queen consort come along. Earlier, the first minister's arrival was greeted with boos, followed by a bit of laughter. Are you meant to be doing your shopping? Sir? This was the new king's first official duty since the end of the formal mourning period, and his presence appreciated here. It's just great to see him. It's now been recognised as a city as well, so it's been great. Yeah, great turnout. And obviously decided to bring the wee one. Do you, is it something you want to be able to tell him when he grows up? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Did you get a good view? Top of the head as well, but I'm small, so yes, you can see over the top. After the welcomes, inside it was down to business, with the King formally recognising the city status conferred on Dunfermline as part of the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. As you celebrate... Uh, your well-deserved status as Scotland's new city, I can only offer my warmest congratulations and my heartfelt wishes for the years to come. Oh, I think it's a great uh, accolade for the town because, you know, we made a city. I sincerely hope it re-energised it because the town, when I came, was a vibrant town and I could tell you all the shops I remembered. For centuries, of course, this area has been called the Kingdom of Fife. But to have the new king right here in Dunfermline today, well, that's something people here say they'll remember for a long time to come. The first occasion, official yes. occasion, so it was nice that Dunfermline had it. So, very good. So you're quite chuffed he's come to Dunfermline? Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. He shook my hand and thanked me for coming. And then the Queen Consort came and shook my hand also. Well, that was more than you were expecting. Definitely. It's hoped city status will help secure a prosperous future for Dunfermline, but its past as the burial place of ancient Scottish kings, also a source of pride. The moderator, whose own parish is here, welcomed today's royalty to the Abbey. People are very, very warm uh, and welcoming, and it's, uh, it's their town, and it's a town that they're proud of. Uh, and this, I think, will just lift the ante. So will we give this poetry thing a go then, Jim? Yes, why not? OK. In Dunfermline today, it was quite the thing. Very special for everyone to meet the new king. <laughs> there were more celebrations later at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. This one to recognise British South Asian communities. I think it was wonderful meeting, you know, King Charles III. It's fantastic. I'm a business owner in Edinburgh. Absolute honour. Gillian <laughs> Clark reporting there. With Jim Leishman's help. <laughs> I see them, the two of them on the stage this panto season. <laughs> well, yes. Which end of the horse? <laughs> <laughs> the ancient capital of Scotland, though, it's Absolutely. interesting it's taken this long to get city status. Yeah, it's taken a very long time, hasn't yeah. it? But they got it this time because of the Jubilee celebrations, which uh, many places applied. And I think Dunfermline has applied several times in the yeah, past. Yeah, it so has. Finally, it's borne fruit for them. Absolutely. Good stuff.